Good morning, kids. Marcus here. I got something to show you. Come on. It's wood. My morning wood. I found this lovely uh, piece of old growth timber in the river uh, last week. I think it was last week, maybe the week before. And uh, it's old. I counted 175 rings on it. It's obviously been milled, so I thought I'd pop it on here to start off the episode to see if any of my friends who are good with wood uh, might know what it is. I'm thinking at 175 years old, plus how long it's been in the river, that it's probably uh, going to be either maple or hemlock. But uh, leave me your comments, suggestions, thoughts, musings, pondings, otherwise below what you think it is. And we'll have a little debate about it. But right now, let's have a little drink of whiskey. This morning, and I mean this morning, it's all right to drink in the morning. You'll be okay. Four Roses. Uh, it's a bourbon out of America, obviously, Kentucky. 40%, so it's a nice, light breakfast bourbon. Uh, you can't get it here, so don't even try, but uh, it's a good way to start, you know, when you're sitting on your morning wood. It's a good way to start the day. Mm. Where's the bacon? Hello friends, Marcus here, down on Cockman's Wharf on the mighty Woolastook. Uh, welcome to Yatter. Got a few things that are on my mind, so I thought I'd come down by the river this morning, uh, now that we've seen our morning wood, and uh, have a little chew with you. Like I said, a couple things I'd like to cover today, and the first thing is, uh, a couple of weeks ago, down here in God's country in Majorville, my uh, cousin Debbie and her husband Gordon had their boat parked out front uh, here in Majorville by the uh, low water wharf on the, the corner of the Curves of Death. Just had it sitting outside in the river, you know, right out there, just a little bit moored up. It's a little Zodiac boat. Anyway, some shitbag came along, Stole the boat. They had a little like 3.5 Merc motor on it. Uh, they took everything but an oar. I mean, they even took the shitty broken chairs. They, they loaded it all and stole it. Uh, then about a week later, uh, my other friend Mimi, who lives up on the head pond, had a, a substantially nicer boat uh, on a trailer in her yard. Somebody backed in, hooked onto that, and stole that too. So, uh, obviously that bothers me. Thieving bothers me. People you, who know me know my history with that. Uh, so if you've seen any of these boats, I'll put a picture up here, or I may have already put a picture up, who knows. Um, let the cops know or let me know, would you? Because uh, stealing things is wrong and uh, could uh, get you a beating or some severe prison time. You know what else is on my mind? Anxiety medication for cats. What the f***? Up with that I saw a commercial on TV the other day uh, you know it's it starts off with a guy taking a piss on the wall and his wife catching him or scratching the couch or something like that and then it goes on to a great big long commercial about cats having anxiety and depression and a medication for them you know what we're in the middle of a worldwide pandemic the last thing we need is to shove a Glade plug-in in the wall that sprays antidepressants for cats for the whole family to breathe in. You know what helps a cat with its depression and anxiety? An inch and three-quarter wrench. That's what helps. Nah, kid. <laughs> uh, you don't use an inch and three-quarter wrench on a cat. A hammer's way more effective. Because <laughs> cats are evil. Aren't they evil? Yes, they are. Cats are evil. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I've got one more thing, one final thing on my mind today. Another thing that I saw on TV that just, I, I, I can't even sometimes. There's a fella down in Moncton. Uh, you know, the, the pandemic started. People weren't traveling around. He was noticing his neighbors going around. The government was talking to us all saying, you know what? We need to uh, become more sustainable as a province, you know, food. Uh, guaranteed food and whatnot so uh, there was a lot of talk about farmers and and helping farmers out and whatnot so anyway buddy was like okay I see my neighbors walking around food sustainability is a big issue right now my son's needing something to do because he's home from school hey how about we build a garden so buddy puts a nice garden in the front yard and I'm not talking like he's not 
he's not raising swine and pigs. He's got a nice garden, some nice trellises there. Things are in boxes. It's just a, a beautiful, nice garden in Moncton in the front. But the problem is he put it in the front yard. And for some reason, some upper high level of dickhead put a complaint in. What kind of person puts a complaint in on a guy and his son putting a garden in the front yard saying it's an eyesore? That, that really bothers me, being from a farming family uh, and, and also being in the middle of this. You know, people are dropping like flies on this planet. We need food sustainability. We need to keep our sanity. Buddy does something nice for the community to maybe get people talking, stopping by. And some idiot does that. So I hope whoever did complain about this guy somehow happens to see this episode of Yatter because I know there's just millions of followers. But come on, let's be there for each other. Don't be a dickhead. Just to summarize this whole episode today, don't be a dickhead. Don't steal people's shit. Don't give cats any depressant medication. Lord. And if you want to grow a garden, grow your garden. If somebody has a problem with it, don't resort to violence. But you can think of it in your head. All right, friends, get out there. Beautiful day in New Brunswick. I uh, hope you enjoyed my little <laughs> ranting, my little yelling at the river today. Um, it is beautiful. Get out there. And we'll see you next time.